the moment you have all been waiting for. Five days in the world's biggest McDonald's. This might be one of the hardest challenges we have ever attempted. Once we enter the McDonald's, there is no leaving. If at any point we step foot outside of the McDonald's, we fail the challenge. We will also be getting special missions from different YouTubers each and every single day that we have to complete. If we don't complete any of the missions, we fail the challenge. The boys have been doing research, preparation, and planning for months, and we're ready. I think. We'll find out. You guys will find out. And on the fifth and final day, we're gonna be inviting all of y'all out here to throw a massive party at the world's biggest McDonald's. So if you guys are not following us on Instagram or TikTok, make sure you do because you don't wanna miss the biggest party at the world's biggest McDonald's. Without any further ado, it's time. time. But we have already spent one night in here, two nights in here, three nights, even four nights in this very same McDonald's. And we've been kicked out multiple times. We can't just walk in just like this. So, we got ourselves a little disguise. Oh, oh my hey gosh, there. buddy. Hey there, partner. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you, buddy? We'll take a, a number five, five days, that is, buddy. Oh my gosh, bro. Hey, sir, how are you doing? Okay. Oh, cops, cops already? No way. There's no way. Oh, bro. I thought we were already getting kicked. Right. I wouldn't be surprised, bro. They have, like, security on us. Like, we've been kicked out of this place so many times. That's why we're taking this so seriously. She swear to you, Nika, uh, McDonald's. I remember when they were only the Nika. That's you. crazy realistic. No cab. Hey, where are you going? Get back here. Yeah. Get back here. The first day in the five days in McDonald's is about to commence. This place is getting packed. People are zooming around. It's turning into a madhouse up in here. We gotta go right now. Right now! <laughs> I can't even take this guy serious. It looks so real. <laughs> Once we enter, there's no going back. This is it for you guys. Five days, world's biggest McDonald's. Let's go. Ernest and uh... And Chester. Ernest and Chester. Let's rock. Let's go eat some Big Macs. Yes. <laughs> All right, Ernest, can you hear me? What was that? I said, whatever you bring. It's all we have. Okay, Chester, let's get this show on the road. Oh. Here we go. Here we go, buddy. Make it easy, does it? Five days in the world's biggest McDonald's. Here we come. Can you tell them to subscribe? Subscribe for the best YouTube channel in the world. My boy, What's my boy. Number one. Number, number one. uno. Number one. uno. Oh my gosh! Hey. Here we go! Once we enter, there's no leaving! No leaving, Chester! Five days, start the clock! Hello! Straight upstairs! Straight upstairs! I thought this would be a disguise. Loki is drawing so much attention. Everyone's looking. Not to not key. We have an elevator, sir, if you like. Oh, an elevator? Yes, sir. I'll show you the yeah. way. Look at what you Do you want to try the stairs? I'm going to try. <laughs> so, I'm a strong guy. All right. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, this is a special. Go, baby. Go. Go. Oh. oh, my God. Straight to the bathroom. Hey, don't mind us. They didn't know it was us, but we drew a lot of attention. I'm talking to every worker saw us. I think that was the manager down there trying to get us to use the elevator. This place is absolutely packed though. To Can't the brim. Say. To the brim. It's like a tourist attraction up in here. <sighs> now 
Now that mission one is completed and we've made it into the bathroom, we need to change back into our regular clothes because mission number two is to blend in and find a home base. But in the world's biggest and busiest McDonald's, that's no easy task. There are cameras, staff, and customers everywhere. One mistake and this whole entire mission could be compromised before it even begins. The boys are changed. Now all we gotta do is go out there, act normal, and try to find a spot to hide. So just fucking keep up. Honestly, I don't see anywhere good over here. I think we gotta keep looking around. I've never seen it this packed. This is the most packed. In all of our years coming here, this is by far the most packed that's ever been. So many people everywhere. Upstairs, downstairs, that side, this side. Should we go back there? This is old reliable right here. Classic OG spot behind all the arcade games, but that's where we got caught last time. Play the clip. Y'all gotta get the hell out of it. Y'all gotta get the hell out of it. If we go back there, it's a risk because they probably check, but also probably the best spot available. I'm gonna go back there and check. You guys stay out here and make sure no workers come. Okay, okay. Oh, what is all this back here? Someone's got a little tea game. Someone's been having a couple of little coffees. They got these things blocking it off. Bro, it looks like someone has already made a fort back here. You gotta check it out. Oh, what? Is this someone's office? This is the piece that's missing in every McDonald's ice cream machine that they're constantly working on. Right, bro? <laughs> right? Because it never works, right? <laughs> yes. uh... There's no way that someone doesn't come back here at least once a day. And this was not here last time we came. Look at this, they have a blocked out curtain keeping themselves tucked away from the rest of the McDonald's. We thought we were set up good. We were counting on this spot. No joke, we were counting on this spot being the place. I don't think it is though. I think we gotta keep looking, keep looking. I honestly have no idea where we're gonna go now. The other place we were thinking about going was behind the play place. We have spent the night back there before, but there's just way too many people to go back there without getting caught. I mean, just. Yes, sir. Are you filming video right now? Oh, yeah. No, What's no, up, we're man? just, we're just uh, practicing. What's up, What's up, brother? Can I get a picture? Yeah, What's yeah. Up, I used to watch you guys a lot when I was a kid, man. Let's go. Um, this is actually insane. I was like looking over there, looking at the games and all that. You know, I saw you guys like no way. We, we gotta figure something out. We gotta figure out something to go for now. Because if we keep walking around, our cover's gonna get blown. We're gonna draw way too much attention. I mean, dude, everyone's already staring at us so hard. All right, we thought we were gonna be able to make the fort behind the arcade games, but it looks like someone already beat the boys to it. And our number two spot was gonna be behind the kids' play place, but this place is absolutely packed, crawling with kids upstairs, downstairs, everywhere. So I think what we're gonna do is hold off and wait till this place dies down a little bit and the play place closes before we make our fort for the night. What better way to pass the time than uh, I mean, we're in McDonald's. We gotta get a little grub for a little the boys. Bit, a, little good, a little bit of grub. We're gonna be eating McDonald's for the next five days. We might turn into sumo wrestlers by the end of this video. But McDonald's, if you're watching this video, we love you, absolutely oh, love you. God, Please sponsor us. Yes. I would eat it every single day for the rest of my oh, life. Easily. It's my favorite, favorite oh, food. Oh, by far, that's why. I honestly didn't eat McDonald's this whole year because I was ready for this moment. Exactly, I wanted that's to appreciate what I was saying, Because if you have it every day, it's like you don't appreciate it as much. Exactly. 
Can I, I place an order with you? All right, do you mind if I, I'm just vlogging for my mom? Is that cool or no? Can I keep it on me though? Okay, I gotta get a number five because you, you guys already know. You, you don't know, you don't know why yet, but they know why. So I gotta get a number five. I don't even know what it is, but surprise me. As I'm ordering, I can't be attracting any attention, especially because we've been kicked out of this very same McDonald's four times before. I need to keep it casual and just keep to myself. They don't even know. Orlando, they don't even know. They don't even know. Y'all know though. I didn't even know. <laughs> All right, I think I'm getting a little too comfortable, but I need to lock back in because if the employees get suspicious, this whole challenge could end right here. I gotta stay locked in. Yo, no, they, they don't, don't even know. know. They don't even. <laughs> Y'all don't even know either. No, no, I, no, I don't have no idea, right? No, I don't. Let's go, boys. Here comes Ricky with the food. I don't even know what this is. I told him surprise me with your favorite stuff. And boom, he gave me that red sauce pasta, garlic parmesan red on the side, Philly cheesesteak. Hey, you heard that right. And then you already know right over here, I, I met this guy down there. He said, you gotta get a double quarter pounder. I was like, all right, you you're right. You gotta get the classic. Uh, tonight I'm going with a double quarter pounder and cheese though. Let me add a double quarter pounder too. <laughs> I trust man, this guy knows, he's a legend. And then I had to get a number five had for to. five days. Had to, I had to. I didn't even know what a number five was, but I guess it's a 10 piece nugget with a large fry. So, nice. Can I picture, take a picture? Take yeah, a picture? Yeah. Y'all yeah. don't, don't even know. know. They don't know, do they? Yeah. Oh, wait, what's going on? What's going on? Guys? He don't, I know. Oh, you, you definitely don't know, right? No what? He don't know, right? He definitely don't know. I know he definitely don't know. What do you got to say to the people? Everyone watching at home, I feel like you got something to tell them. And in this moment, you might drop some knowledge. You might drop some wisdom. What are you going to say? Hey, chat. Skippity call it. To five days of greatness and the best food you've ever tasted in your entire life. Mmm, 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 mmm. I don't think that could ever get old. Buddy, McDonald's fries, I can't lie. Top tier, top tier. All right, we got the fries. We've all had those before. I I'm eyeing that pasta. I think we gotta go straight for the big hitter. Gotta put it on a little bit of that garlic. Mmm. Uh, I feel like I'm in Italy right now. Look at that, look at that. Oh my gosh, right here on this little non- Tight bread. Here we go. Come on. I'm going. I'm going back. Right. Buddy, are we in McDonald's or are we in Italy? Ladies and gentlemen, y'all got the pasta. It is now time for this delicacy right here. Philly cheesesteak. Yo, why is this fire? Is it really? Why is this fire? Oh, I'm surprised. This might, this is better than that. And that was good. Yeah. Wow, this is... That's not McDonald's. Uh-uh. Give me that double quarter pounder, baby. Double quarter pounder with cheese. With cheese. Come on, at least take a bite of it. Oh, a bite? I don't think I'm gonna take a bite. Should I just smash it? I, it's a quarter pounder. It's about a quarter of what? That mouth has seen a lot more meat than that, brother. That's crazy, bro. bro I'm talking about, bro. I'm talking about ground beef. I eat a pound of ground beef every day. That was only a quarter pound. I'm used to eating a pound of ground beef. You know, that's what I was saying. Oh. Okay, you should have just said so. As we were eating, the janitor came up to us and said they closed the upstairs at 11 p.m. But it was already 11.30 and we still needed to get to our hiding spot and sleep. So the plan is go downstairs, wait for him to finish cleaning, and then sneak back up. But if we get caught on the way upstairs, this whole mission could be over. About two to three hours. Two to three hours? Yeah, because I got to do all of this. I got to do that over there, all that. And I got to do the stairway, so it takes some time. Dang, two to three hours more? Yeah. Dang. Like, so what, you finish around, if you had to guess, like two or three? You're supposed to get off at seven sometimes. You don't know seven time. in the morning? Yeah. Are you up here for till seven in the morning? Yeah. Really? So, if it takes that long, but sometimes I usually get off around about five, five thirty because it's real slow right now. At least until about seven. 
And then what time does this open back up in the morning? 8.30. Oh, okay. It's the world's largest bed. Yeah, it's a lot of cleaning, yeah. you know? Yeah. I was just wondering, because I see you grinding, you know? Yeah, oh yeah. Yo, 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 yo. I say we don't need to go downstairs. I say we go there right now. If we go down there, and we try to come back up here later, he's gonna be cleaning this whole area, he's gonna see us. He's gonna be cleaning until 5 or 6 a.m. and then this opens back up at 7. So at the max, we get one hour of sleep. Dang, two to three hours more? Yeah. Dang. Are you up here till 7 in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that guy doesn't come clean over here. He could also see us from that side. Look over there. If he decides to clean these chairs, he could easily spot us by taking a look down this hallway because it's a straight shot the whole way through. But I mean, bro, we didn't really have many options. Behind the arcade, that was our number one spot. Someone literally took that. And then downstairs is massive, but there's way too many employees and there's no good hiding spot. If we didn't have this, I don't know where we'd go. Even with this, I'm a little bit scared, bro. If we happen to sleep in, might just wake up to a bunch of kids running around up in here. Well, the kids spot us and they go and tell an employee. So no. before we go to bed, make sure we set an alarm. That would look really bad, bro. Mom, 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 there's two grown men right next to the kids' play play sleeping. Not a good luck, buddy. Time is currently 12, 12 at night. We would go to the bathroom, brush our teeth, floss, take a little mini shower in the sink. We got a bunch of toiletries in our backpack, but that guy's- Oh, brother, might need to brush your teeth. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight. Oh, maybe clean your upper lip, buddy. That little mustache is getting a little bit of uh, McChicken up in there, huh? Bro, I think you went crazy on that Philly cheesesteak. It's stuck in between your nostrils. Oh, it's stuck in between your nostrils, you mean? I can I can smell it when you start talking close to me, maybe, buddy. You, maybe you should have wiped your butt earlier when uh, you went to go take why don't, a little Why don't we have Norman play the clip of you just scratching your butt and then stuffing your fingers, huh? Dude, that clip doesn't exist. Set up base. Not much of a base, really just one backpack here, one backpack here, and then Chester's good old walker. We have no pillows, no blankets. We don't have anything. We don't, we have nothing. But one thing we do have, that brand new Mick Overnight merch. I'm wearing the black one right here. Nick's wearing the red. We also got hoodies in tan, red, black. We also got shirts in tan, red, black. And personally, I think the red pops the most. You're trying to stand out. We got the Mick Overnight up here. And then down below, it says five days, 120 hours in the world's biggest McDonald's with the definition of persistence. And then right here, if you scan it with your phone, you can literally scan it with your phone right now. Pause the video. It'll take you to a link straight to the merch and you can cop it right now if you want to get it go to ivpmerch.com and honestly if i had to i would pick this over a pillow over a blanket over a bed yeah. it's it's all in one yeah but with that being said I'm gonna go to bed try to get a little bit of sleep up in here end of day number one let's go brother what a time i'm just hoping we make it in the morning here we go Nothing like laying on the cold hard floor in the back of the McDonald's. Brings me back to the OG days, how we all started right here. Gonna get some great sleep on this. Yo, almost forgot. In this place, the music never stops, the lights never turn off. So, look what we got right here, my friend. Oh, buddy. A couple earplugs. These are key. Yo, give me camera. Yo, don't talk too loud. Give me cam? Don't talk too give, loud. Give me no? camera. I can literally see him. Shh. Dude, you're talking so loud. You see the camera. So loud. Dude, turn off this light. Turn off this light. Bro, make sure you're not talking too loud because he's in. Okay. Okay. But well, my friend, not only did I bring earmuffs. <laughs> you know what this is right here? This, my friends, is a sleepy mask. Complete darkness once I put this on. Looking like a little princess over there. Can't hear you. <laughs> can't oh, hear you. Can't. it's okay. I can't prepare to. But honestly, I think it's a little better than what you have. You know why it's better? Because yeah. if someone wakes up quick, boom, put it on like that, it turns into a bandana. So I'm ready to go. 
Wow. Technically and legally, we are not supposed to be up here right now. The downstairs is open 24 hours, but the upstairs is closed between 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. But no one knows we're here, so we gotta keep it that way. And just when we thought we were in the clear, this happened. I could be easy, bro. We are trying to get some sleep. Dude, I thought we were in the clear for the first night. I was actually getting decent sleep. I know, bro. I, I was pretty much asleep. And then for some reason, I heard something, took the mask off, and he's right there. No like, joke, like. He's right there, he's right there, he's right there. Does anyone sleep with their socks on like this? I think he's done cleaning down at the end. I'm not sure, bro. If he comes over again and he sees us laying down there, it's legit over. He was looking through the play place. No. I thought he saw us for a second. It looked like he stopped, looked in, and then he was like, duh, there's no way. There's no way there's people back there. No sign of him. I think he's cleaning the arcade. Hopefully he doesn't come back here. I think we're in the clear. Gonna try to get some actual sleep now. That was a close one. Almost compromised on night number one of the five days at McDonald's. Well, day number one, still not done yet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Time is currently 7.55 in the morning. People are starting to come to this place. I think this play place, second floor area, is about to open up any minute now. It might already be open. So I gotta wake Ricky up. Bro. 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 Gotta be kids up in here. What time is it? It's 8 o'clock. Cool. You hear that? People are about to start coming up in here. Dude, we have to get out of here, bro. I, I literally see a kid right there. Mm -hmm. Right there. There's people over there. Oh. We gotta get out of here. We gotta here. get out of here. <gasps> oh, see ya. Mom, mom, mom. There's two grown men right next to the kids' play place sleeping. Not a good luck, buddy. Then, as we were leaving, this happened. No, we just came upstairs. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, do you work here? Yes, I'm asking because my daughter got y'all to take a picture of so I'm asking for that shit. Fudge. Find out what happens next in episode number two. Will the mother go tell the employees on Ricky and Nick? 
Will they get kicked out and the whole mission be compromised? Subscribe and stay tuned to find out what happens in the next episode of 5 Days in McDonald's.